We continue today in our journeys through Shemona Esrei, and we find ourselves beginning the week in the bracha of Yerushalayim Ircha Barachamim Toshav, the bracha which speaks about besieges HaKadosh Baruch for the restoration of Yerushalayim. I think it's incredibly auspicious that we're beginning this week with this bracha, as just in a couple of days we are going to begin the period of the three weeks when we mourn the loss of Yerushalayim, the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. So each and every day, in the course of Shemona, we say, Yerushalayim Ircha Barachamim Toshuv. Please, Hashem, to Yerushalayim, your city, return in compassion. The Sishkon Besocha Kasher Dibarto, dwell inside of the city, as you have said, as you have spoken. Ovnei Osa Bekarav Biameinu Binyan Olam. And rebuild it. Rebuild Ovnei Osa Bekarav Biameinu speedily in our days. And it struck me, why is it that we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu to rebuild Yerushalayim speedily in our days? Why not say, Ovnei Osa Hayom, rebuild it today? What do you mean speedily in our days? It's almost as if speedily in our days accepts the fact that Geula, redemption, may not come today, but Halavai, it should happen speedily in our days. Yet we know that Ani Mamin Be'amun one of our tenets of faith, is the reality that Mashiach could come today. And in fact, I have to live my life as if Mashiach is going to come today. And yet when we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the restoration of Yerushalayim, we don't say Uvnei Osa Hayom, rebuild it today, but rather Uvnei Osa Bekarov Biyamenu, rebuild it soon in our days. And again, even Bekarov doesn't even mean speedily. Karov means soon, soon in our days, rebuild it soon. Why not ask for today? And perhaps the answer to this is a theme that Rabbi Yisrael may allow writes about in his essays on the Haggadah. Rabbi Lal points out something amazing. He says at the end of Chaga, excuse me, at the end of Halach Ma'anya, in the beginning of the Haggadah, we say, Hashata Avdi Lashana Haba Bnei Chorin. This year we are slaves. Next year we will be free. Hashata Hacha Lashana Haba Baradi Yisrael. This year we are here. A reference to the diaspora. Next year, we, excuse me, next year we will be in Eretz Yisrael. And Rabbi Lal asked the same basic question. He says, Why don't we say Hashata Avdi? Right now I'm a slave. Tomorrow or today, I'll become free. Right now, I am here, diaspora. Later on today, tomorrow, I'll be in Eretz Yisrael. I mean, like, Shana Ba, next year. Next year? Right? Don't we believe, isn't the whole essence of Pesach, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu could transform anything and everything in the blink of an eye? And yet, here I'm saying, right now, I'm a slave. Next year, I'll be free. Right now, I'm here. Next year, I'll be in Eretz Yisrael. And Rabbi Laura is something so amazing. He says that it's true. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of course, could affect dramatic change in the blink of an eye. Yeshua Hashem Keherefayim, the salvation of God, comes about in the blink of an eye. HaKadosh Baruch Hu could affect instantaneous change. But more often than not, the way the world works is the more dramatic the change, the longer the process of change takes. Could a slave become a free man? Absolutely. It doesn't usually happen overnight. It takes time. Could someone in diaspora reach their promised land? Absolutely. But it usually takes a little bit of time. Pesach, the whole essence, is a transformation of the self. We're all slaves to something. Could we become free? Of course we can. Does freedom occur instantaneously? Usually not. Right now I'm in diaspora, I'm in exile. And again, exile is not just necessarily a geographic statement. But so many of us are in exile from ourselves, are in exile from the things we know we need to be, the people we know we need to be. Can I get back to my personal promised land? Absolutely. Is it going to happen in a snap of my fingers? Probably not. It takes time. Because the more dramatic the change you want to affect, the longer it takes. Can change be affected instantaneously? Absolutely. And of course, when it comes to the Ribbon Shal Olam, HaKadosh Baruch Hu could go and do anything without waiting even for a moment. But yet in Halach Ma'anya, we're talking about our ability to change. And our ability to change often takes time. The more dramatic the change, the greater the amount of time necessary to affect a lasting change. And perhaps that's what we're saying over here as well. Uvne Osa Bikarov Biyamenu. We see HaKadosh Baruch Hu rebuild Yerushalayim speedily, right? It's Bikarov, hopefully soon, L- literal translation, rebuild it soon in our days. Why not rebuild it today? Because, my dear friends, the rebuilding of Yerushalayim is not just something that, HaK- that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does. The rebuilding of Yerushalayim requires us to do things as well. 
requires us to change certain defects personally, requires us to go ahead and affect certain change nationally. And so we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you could do your part in the blink of an eye. You could do your part instantaneously. You could do your part without any delay. But for us to do our part takes a little bit of time. So the request we make, Uvnei Uvne Osa Bekarov Biyamenu. Rebuild it soon in our days. Almost as if we acknowledge, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, your part could be done in an instant. Our part takes a little bit longer. But perhaps if you help us, if you hold our hand, if you nudge us along, then Emir Hashem, you could help us expedite our part of this process as well. So does the rebuilding of Yerushalayim, can it happen today? Absolutely. Will it happen today? Probably not. Because the changes we need to make require a bit more time. And this is an incredible important in general, in, in a general way, about the concept of change. We all need to make changes in our lives. Some of us need to make changes in our relationships. Some of us need to make changes in our careers. Some of us need to make changes in our personalities, in our identities. And we each have the ability to affect the change we need to affect. But sometimes we think that change can and should happen instantaneously. It can happen instantaneously, but more often than not, it doesn't. The more dramatic the change, the greater the amount of time you're going to need in order to make it. But never think that because change requires time, therefore it's impossible. Chas v'shalom. Hashat ha'cha l'shana ba ba'arad Yisrael. Hashat ha'avgi l'shana ba b'nechor. I might be a slave to something now. I might be in diaspora now. And yes, it may take me a little while to become free, and it may take me a little while to get back to my promised land. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. Forget about Rome. Yerushalayim is not rebuilt in a day. We all have the ability to affect the changes we need to affect. We just have to give ourselves, be patient with ourselves, and allow that process of change on a personal level and on a national level to properly unfold. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.